Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. So today we are continuing on with the Altered Composition Notebook. Um, in the first video of this um, notebook, we covered the front and back and the inside covers and then we added um, the dividers. And then in yesterday's video, uh, we done some tape and some ribbon lace along the edge. And let's see, what else did we do? Uh, made some pockets. And I think that's all we really got done yesterday. And then I did put the um, embellishments on the um, front cover. So I do want to do a couple things to it today. And I had several people ask that I do a lot of the stuff on camera. So um, we will go through and kind of just see how I come up with different things to put into the journals. Um, one thing I was thinking about for this one, um, because I've got this large area back here, I think I'm going to make an envelope out of some of this paper. And let me get my envelope board and see what size paper I would need. I'm thinking of five and a half by seven and a half. So it says I would need 10 and a half by 10 and a half because I think that would be a good size to go on that back or even the front. But I'm thinking I want to do an envelope. Um, let me grab the paper pad and let's see. So our back is, that's our back cup page so let's see what we can find that will kind of go along with that theme and I don't know what I want exactly maybe that I'm thinking that or this one Let's see what this one, no, let's go with this one, the, um, this one here. Let's do that. So I need to cut this to ten and a half by ten and a half, I believe it said. So I'm just going to get my paper cutter out. and try to get this cut good all right i said ten and a half by ten and a half so let me do that there's one and then let's do the side all right let's hope i got this right we're about to find out so let me open this back up and see where it says. So it says to score it on the four and a half. Let's see if I can do that. Four and a half right there. I always have the hardest time poking that thing down. I don't know why it gives me such a fit. And so then I turn this around, line it up. Poke it. Yes, I have to talk to myself every time I do them. I just, that's how I have to do it. So I thought this would be cute to put in it um, an envelope like this. And then I can put stuff in the envelope. But I can also make the envelope into a pocket as well. Then I'm going to round that. Okay, so let's move this out of the way for a minute. And trash that. And let's see if we can get this scored without the paper cracking. Crack a lacking. There's that. 
Now, do I want to cut that? I think I'm going to cut that so it will be straight across. So let me do that. I'm just going to try to do it right here. I'm just going to line that score line up. I'm going to put this right here. And let's see if we can do it, guys. Let's see. I don't know how straight it is. Hopefully it's straight. Whoa, it's straight. Whoa. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and glue the flap. Or seriously glue. Now, why does my glue do this to me every time? Y'all see, I've been good about putting my needle back in it. But it's still doing it to me. Okay. So just going to close that down and this will make a good spot in the back or front whichever one we've decided to put it in but I think I want it on this back right here I think I want to do it like this and then make it a side pocket but I think this would be really good storage space so let's go ahead and glue this down and I'm going to glue it down with Fabri-Tac simply because I may be putting quite a bit in it and there'll be a lot of pressure on it so I just want to make sure it holds really good all right so I'm just going to glue that down right there just like that and then we'll have to figure out a closure. But we will figure something out. That's cute. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's see what about what we can make. So that's a divider. But I do have um, that pocket there. And so I think thinking I want another one of those um, like large um, cards or whatever you call it let me grab a piece of card uh, chipboard mm. I'm looking to see if I want the thin or the thicker here let me just grab both I don't want it to be too thick but I'm afraid this one might be too thin. I don't think so because it would have two pieces of um, cardstock on it. But I just think that might be too thick to go in there. So let's do it on this lightweight chipboard. And so what I want to do, um, I need to figure out how big I want it. Because what I'll do is go ahead and get that covered so that I think we can do six inches wide and maybe like six by eight or six by eight and a half. But I want to go ahead and get this started covering so that that way um, it can be drying pretty good. And I think I'm going to go with this green one. And I can use the same one because I just need it to be six inches wide. So I'm just going to cut this at six inches like that. And I am going to glue one on one side and one on the other. And I'm going to glue it all the way to the top of this because what I cut off I will use as a journal card somewhere else in the journal. I apologize for that noise. Gotta love it. Okay. So, uh, Y'all knew I was going to do something like that. Y'all knew it was going to happen. So now I just need to 
smush that glue around. And then I need to glue this side. And then we can just let this dry for a little bit while we do some other stuff. So, um, I don't know if there'll be another. We'll see what we get done today. I don't know if tomorrow's video will be finishing this up or if we'll be starting on something different. Um, I am actually headed out of town tomorrow. Um, my daughter, one of my daughters that lives in Okeechobee, she's pregnant and um, she's due in like less than a month now. And so Saturday is her baby shower. So I am riding with my fourth daughter down. And we're going tomorrow. And then we'll come back. I guess Sunday's when we're coming back. I'm getting glue everywhere, but y'all know I always do that. Okay, so we're going to let that dry for just a few minutes. I'm going to set it right there. So I want to see what else I want to do. And I'm thinking I want one of those um, fold over pockets. So I need some paper for that. I like how that looks. I'm just trying to see what paper. Let's use this one. All right. And so we can do that pocket at I need to see what six inches. Yeah, six inches is not wide enough. I think we need like six and a half. Um and then if I want it to come down to about right here, that would make it eight and a half, so nine and a half. So six and a half by nine and a half. All right, so I'm going to cut it six and a half wide. Or somewhere along in there. And then I want, mm, let's just do, Ten, I guess. And then where is my uh, my scoreboard is in the living room. I think I have a little one right here. Let me see if I do. If not, I'm going to have to pause you guys so I can go get it. Because I want to use a scoreboard to No, I got one. That's just my little one. But that's all I need for now. All right, so I want about an inch and a half of this to fold over. So I'm going to, on the top, I am going to score it at one and a half inches. Just like that. Let's see if that's what I want. So let's see how that looks. And I think we're going to put it on this hinge here. So it would, or do I want to, I think I might put it on the divider. No, I can't because of, no, I could. What do you guys think? I think I like it on the divider. All right, let's round these corners here. And then I'm going to round these corners. Because we may make this into a tuck. All right here, let's see. All right, so if I want to tuck, Let's see what we can do. I'm going to put glue here. 
and I'm going to put a wide spot of it and glue here and I'm going to put some glue right there maybe I hope I'm not messing up all right let's hope and pray that that works because it's on there now but my thought is that I could tuck something up underneath there like that so we probably need to put some washi tape here let me do that let me grab some I'm just going to put, I got green washi tape. I think I'd rather have the green on that. Let me see where the green is. Come here, green washi. Okay. Let's see how that looks. And I'm just going to put it right there. And that's just to give it a little bit of stability. Especially since I didn't um, glue that flap all the way down. Well, y'all, I can't even put washi tape on today. Let's just trim this up. Trim this piece up here. And I'm thinking that my washi tape might need some glue. So I'm just going to take my glue stick. And I'm just going to run my glue stick right there. Yeah, my washi tape definitely needs some glue stick. Because it's not going to stick down. That's better. And so now I don't have to stress as much over that. And then that's dry. And so we've got a tuck there. I like that. Okay. So what do we want to do <clears throat> for this front? We could do... How many pages do we have here? We can make these in the waterfall pages. And we could cover. Hmm, how could I do that? If I. I could do this. Like it was going to be a waterfall, but I could have, okay. Let's see. Let's make this into waterfalls. So let's see how big these are so that we can get these cut. Yeah, this is how I do it, guys. So I don't know. I don't know if it's the right way, the wrong way, but it's the way I do it. So, all right. So what I want to do is cut this straight at four inches so I'm going to make sure all of these are cut straight at four inches and then we will cut them down to the size that we want them to be once I know that they are all straight Let's see. One more. Now I need to figure out how I'm going to do, do this tuck. Because what I want to do, I want to have this as the, the front page. And then I want to cut it somewhere. And then I want it to tuck down into the bottom. I want it like a matchbook, but I wasn't going to actually put 
Hmm. Let's see, let's cut. Let's do six and a half. All right, so I'm cutting six and a half. Six. Then five and a half. Then five. Then four and a half, but it's the same piece here. So we got four and a half right here. So we'll just do that. So four and a half. And then we could do four. And then we could do three and a half. And then three. Okay, that should work. Let's see. Yeah, so we've got our waterfall. So I am going to cut this. About right there. I hope I'm not messing up because I really don't know. And so what I want is I want to have this. Let me see. Where's my life? Okay. I'm going to score this. Um, I'm going to score this one at three quarters of an inch. And these I am going to score at half an inch. So let's do that. So I'm just going to score all of these on half an inch. And let's hope I get it right. I hope it turns out how I'm hope thinking it will because, oh no. I don't have a clue. This is what I do. Y'all wanted to see my process. So here you go. The good, the bad, and the ugly. All right. One more. So let's put these out of the way for right now. I want to trim. I do want to round all of these corners down here. I want the bottom to be rounded. Sorry about that noise. That was pretty loud. All right. Let's do these. Mm, almost done. Oh, so loud. Okay. So, if I have this, let's see. Let's round this, these corners. Okay, let's, let's put it, let's kind of see what I'm thinking. Alright, so my thought process is to have this like that. And have these in here. And then I want this to tuck down into a closure down here, which can be this, but it's going to have to be, going to have to do something different. What about if I done it like that, like I would do a matchbox or a matchbook? I 
wonder how that would work. Because that's how you would do a matchbook, you know, the folding. I think that'll work. We're going to try it, guys. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to glue this down right here. I'm going to glue that down like that. And then this part, I don't want to glue the whole piece of it, I don't think. Wait a minute, let me stop. I can glue that whole thing down because I'll, yeah. Let's go ahead and glue this down to give it some stability. I think this, I think I know how to do it. I don't know. We'll see. We about to find out. So let's move this out of the way for a minute. Um, I think I want to round the corners. I think I don't know too late now I've done it so let's see what how it does okay so I am going to glue this down first and then we will fit everything else in so I'm only going to glue this bottom half of it Because I want that flap to be able to tuck down in that. So let's see. Let's put it maybe right here. All right. I think that looks pretty even. What we're going to do is we'll let that dry. And then we'll add this stuff on. But we'll kind of go build up on it. Um, so that it's had a chance to like fully dry so let's go ahead and cut this and we said we wanted this at six inches and we said uh, I think we said eight and a half I don't remember I hope I, I hope it was eight and a half so eight and a half I need to trim this side up a little bit because I see a little bit of the brown, which is fine, but all right, so there's that. We trimmed that. If somebody had done a little bit better job putting the stuff on, I don't know who put it on so crazy. Hmm. I wonder. And then I'm going to round the corners of it. So it's almost like a lap board or something. So like if you need to press down, you know, if you've got the journal like really embellished, but you need to be able to press down to write, you can pull this out and stick it behind um, whatever page you're needing. All right, let's see how that is. I think that's good. So let's see what we can do. So to put this down, oh yeah, perfect. Look at that. All right, so what I want to do is I want to have that in there where it goes. And then I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to glue this spot right here. That's the part I want glued down. Okay. So now I know it's going to fit. Ah, y'all see that? No, no, no. Oh, we almost had a catastrophe. 
catastrophe averted. So I've done it like that so that I know that it'll tuck down in there good. So now we can pull that out. Does that look even? I guess it is. Hmm, okay. So now we have these and these are going to go just like that. Mm, I might have put that. I might need to cut these off a little bit. Let's see. Or just not use that back one. What should I do? Should we cut these off half an inch? Because if I cut them off half an inch, then it would be like that. I think I need to do that. Yeah, I think I do. Okay, let's try this again. I'm going to see if I can cut a couple of them at one time. I'm just going to cut that half an inch spot off right there. And then I'll just score it half an inch again. Ah, I didn't do that one very good. All right, one more set. So now we need to score at half an inch on all of them and hopefully let's see how the waterfall looks see if we got it decent yeah that looks good all right let's so let's score half an inch on each of them half an inch what we can do we're gonna make it look cute couple more all right now all we need to do So what I'm going to do to put these together, I'm going to fold them. I want to get that crease in there good. Because I want them to be able to flip around. When I get this done, I will tape these together and I'll put a little bit of glue across the top of them just to kind of bind them all together. And then we will glue them into the book. And then we'll probably have to call this video done because it's already been over 30 minutes. Wow. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just take my little tape runner and I'm going to glue these together using my little tape runner, maybe. The biggest challenge for me is getting them lined up with the tape. Why isn't it sticking? It'll stick now, buddy. Let's try this. Mm, get it lined up. This where glue would be easier. 
You could even staple them. I might should have done that. Who oh, will? We done started on this, so this is what we're continuing with. I'm just trying to line them up. Because if I don't get them lined up good, then it defeats the purpose of having the whole waterfall thing. I'm just trying to get them lined up as good as I can. Which, thankfully, they seem to be going okay right this minute. I'm afraid to breathe, though. If I breathe, it's going to go wrong. All right, last one. Can we do it? Can we do it? I think we done it, y'all. Yep. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some glue, and I'm just going to run it across the top of these just to kind of get them all stuck together really good. Okay, so now I need to figure out how I'm going to put these in the book. Now, do I want to glue the whole thing down or just the flap? I think we're only going to do the flap. So I'm going to put a strip of glue, glue tape, whatever that is, the tape runner there. And I'm also going to use some glue, maybe. Because I really want that to hold. Because it's going to have a lot on it. And then I am just putting it right about there. So it's even down here with the bottom. Get it up just a little bit. And then I think I am even going to put um, some tape over that. do the green one. I'm going to put some tape over that to make sure that it stays. And so I am going to actually put a little bit of glue there too. Because I just want to make sure it really holds. Because that's a lot of card stock. Okay, and there, oh, guys, look how cute. I love that. Oh, yes. Okay, that turned out way better than I was thinking. And then we could, like, embellish that. Oh, that'd be so cute. Oh, all right. Um, I don't have a lot of time. I, I do want to do one thing to the cover of this before we end today's video. I want to I want to take one of these and put on here. Do I want to put corner page corner things or no? Oh let me keep those out because we might even put those on there. All right, I do want to put this on, and I am just going to glue it on right about there. So I'm going to glue on the three sides because I want the top to be open so that I can slide something down in there. Now, I have the screws that come with these. I never use the screws. I've always just glued them on. And it doesn't give me any problems normally. Let's just hold that down for just a second. I am thinking that I do want to do those corners.
And where are my pliers, though? Yeah, we're going to do those. I may have to put these on off camera because um, I'll have to grab my pliers. Look at that, guys. Oh, my goodness. That is so pretty. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. I will put these on off camera unless I can grab a pair of pliers. Where are the, my pliers? Let me see if I can open the drawer here. Sorry about that, guys. Y'all are not going to believe they were right beside me. Literally right beside me. I don't know what I was doing. So I am going to put a little tiny bit of glue down in these because I want to make sure that they stay. I don't want to put too much glue, just a little bit. And then I want to put it on that corner just like that. And then I'm just going to crimp it down. That is so pretty. Oh my goodness. That just like made it. Let's do the other side. Or bottom, I should say. I love that. I didn't know how it would look because, you know, the corners are rounded on the book, but it's just set it off, in my opinion. Sorry for having my hand all up in y'all's face. Look at that. Oh my goodness, I love it. Okay, let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and put some on the back, too. May as well. Right, let's crimp it on down. I think I got it. Did I get it? Nope, I gotta get this top part. All right, let's do the other end here. And then we will call this done for today. I don't know if we'll do any more in this book together. Um, we might. We may just go ahead and finish it up together tomorrow. Just go ahead and put everything on it and in it that we want to. All right. Look at that. Oh, that is so pretty. Look how pretty. All right. So today what we done was we were able to get our little, um, what do you call that, book plate? We got our corner protectors on. Look how pretty. And then I love this. Look at this. How cute is this, guys? Look at that. That's a lot of writing space right there. And then you can just tuck that down and it's hidden and out of the way. Oh, yeah. We are going to have to come back because we're not even done with this. So, yeah. So we'll come back tomorrow and finish working on this because we've still got to put something here. And then we made this into a tuck spot. That's so cool. And then we put this envelope in. We still have to get a closure for this. And we've got a pocket back here. So yeah, we'll be back tomorrow because there's some more stuff that we need to do to finish this up, but we should be able to get this finished tomorrow and move on next week to something else. All right, guys, let me know what you think so far. I will talk to y'all later. Bye, guys.